have time to look for my things. Here's the cargo drone's number. There is a box in there filled with research material and other stuff. It has my name on it. It's Delia Wendo, right? That's an interesting name. Wendo? Yeah, I think it's Japanese originally. Possibly Kenyan. Definitely of soul origin. Just let me know once you find anything, okay? I will. Talk to you soon. fighting Grady and Brunt was such a good idea, my database failed to turn up any entries on this elite squad. Yeah, you won't find any. They're a kind of secret thug squad working for head management, all off the official books. Our foreman would threaten to turn us over to them when we didn't fall in line. We're lucky to be alive. I am making a note for further reference. They seem to be moving provisions out of Cedo. I wonder what was going on here. Delia's belongings were shipped to Neftis Station. Guess it's time to pay Officer Shaw another visit. Is he one of the good kind of GNB, or the kind you shoot on sight? I am certain he is one of the good guys. This is becoming confusing.
I'm afraid you have come at an inconvenient time. What's wrong? You were just ransacked by our own head management. Blakemore's elite squad removed large amounts of provisions and weaponry from our hold. When it comes to cutting lifelines, this is a new low, even for management. Are you sure they took it all? I recently passed Norea Transit Point, and all I saw were a bunch of cargo drones waiting to be scanned. But no one around to move them anywhere. Could be the stuff you're missing. You must be joking. Agnetha sent me all data coming from the transit station. Well, I'll be. You're right, Mr. Roslin. Looks like someone reshuffled our hand for us. Is there anything I can do to repay you for this situational update? Actually, I'm looking for a cargo drone with this number. I was told that it was sent here. Let me check. Ah, I remember. AAPY was part of a shipment containing new medical personnel. We had sent out a request for a new doctor, but only their luggage arrived. Since we had no use for their possessions, we dumped the cargo drone in a nearby junk hole. You might still find it there. Excellent. Thank you. Losing a full-blown doctor was just as bad as getting our provisions halved. Maybe worse. As it stands, I have two miners in Medbay with only an unskilled AI operator treating them. So, should you ever find out what happened to the lost doctor, don't hesitate to tell us. I'll look into it. I am certain you will. Godspeed, Mr. Roslin. It was good seeing you again. the aforementioned junk hole. Seeing this, I wonder if Delia's stuff is still in one piece.
extraction. Maintenance requested. Maintenance required. Last service in 137 soul cycles. Deposit ready for extraction. Could this thing really have been out here for that long? Processor glitching again. No, I am reading out file names from one of the storage units inside the box. Don't tell me you're rummaging through Delia's things. It may interest you that the box contains no research material, but mostly outdated media files. Delia will know if anything's missing. You just keep your nose out of it, okay? As you wish. You're back. It's been a bit of a journey, but is this what you've been looking for? Looks about right. Let me check. A friend of mine called Shaw told me where to find it. He's the chief officer of Neftis Station. That's where they were shipping you. He's a good guy. Told me losing a doctor put them in a pretty tough spot. Aw, oh, damn it. What is it? Those bastards took my research files. I had made certain that they would be shipped along with me, but G&B must have removed them after they froze me. What kind of research? Medical stuff. You wouldn't... 
Sorry, I don't want to take this out on you. It just looks like GNB screwed me over far worse than I had thought. So, what were you saying about this Shaw? Forget it. It's not important. They're missing a doctor, huh? I'm not very keen on moving to their base, but I could set up a secure line and talk to them. If they have any medical emergencies, I might be able to assist them remotely. You are aware that they're G&B, right? I do, but I am a doctor above all else. Once again, I'm walking back into my forest with open eyes. Um... It's a reference to a song. At least my books and music are still in that box. It will keep me sane for a while. What kind of books? All sorts. Guilty pleasures, high art, most of it pre-off-worldian stuff. But I like it. Hey, once things have calmed down a bit, I could give you an introduction. I would like that. Good. We have an appointment. Well, I gotta get back to my lab. Thanks again, Adam. You're welcome. adapted to the new craft and am in the process of acquainting myself with you again as its pilot. My databanks, as discussed, remain out of date until I am permitted to link to Eterna. How about your personality protocols? Are you capable of switching? You are dissatisfied with my default settings? Please, feel free to experiment. I might just do that, Hive. Tetanus. Yep, I really came back to this soul-forsaken place. Did you not tell the businessman that Charyptus Pole was free of outlaws? As it stands, I am unable to confirm this. You mean that Bloodstar unit over there? Maybe I should check it out. Hey, did that Bloodstar just disappear? That would be physically improbable. I assume they simply went into hiding. You're here. I just finished my soda. Let's go in and do some business. After you. Welcome to Charybdis Recycling Plant where your garbage is our future. <laughs> that used to be my line. Good to meet you, sir. Name's Jan Davila. May I speak to the owner of this place? He is at his desk over there. Ah. Um. Well, he looks kind of relaxed. Whatever's left of him, that is. What happened to him? He is awaiting redeployment. Very patiently, I'd say. What a sad story. I can relate. But with the original owner dead, salvage law allows me to take claim of this place. You really want to do this? Of course. Tell me, robot, how does this facility operate? Is it AI-driven, or do you pay scavengers? Nothing beats an AI. Great! We can save a lot of credits if we don't have to worry about paying an actual workforce. Say, that AI running everything, is that you by any chance? Negative. Well, that's a relief. We use multiple units based on the same operating system. All of them are broken. Broken? Only two drill units may still contain operational copies, but they have drilled themselves into the ground. Salvaging machines can be bought. 
But a new AI specifically designed for this terrain would be very expensive. Would you... Um... What's your name, by the way? Adam. Alan, would you mind checking the drill units? I really just need one in good shape, so I can make copies for the remaining machines. I will pay you, of course. Sure, sounds simple enough. Great! <laughs> you can literally smell the potential of this place. I'm not sure that's what you're smelling, but sure. with functional AI units which randomly dug themselves into the ground. Makes you wonder how intelligent that makes those units. Well, they assessed their situation and determined that their only way out of this hellhole was down. I would say they are indeed very intelligent. Found the first hole. to the Bloodstar unit we saw earlier. Clothes? Food? Someone seems to be bunkering up here. There you are. Let's see what you got. This one's busted.
Must have been a while since the drills dug themselves in. Crossed. It is in a fragile state, but still operational. All right, better not touch it then. I'll let the businessman figure out how to salvage it. Star, that's a first. I know that guy. He's the one who's been hunting down our people for a while now. Is that true? Hunting down may overdramatize it a little. More like you guys seem to keep getting in my way. Told you I'm blasting him here and now. No, hold it. Let's talk first. Feel free, but I'm keeping my crosshairs on him. What do you want? Bloodstar is falling apart. Thanks in part. We want to survive. We need a fresh start. That's why we came here. More hostiles are incoming. Have your people stand down or I'll shoot. That's it. I'm clearing them out. I said hold it. Look, we have nowhere to go. We're tired of being outlaws, and we can't leave Cedo without keys. We know you've been busy around here, and we're offering to work for you. Seriously? I don't know if you're stupid or naive asking for help from a complete stranger you're pointing guns at. For soul's sake, I told everyone to disengage. You were right. We are desperate. Now, what do you say? Sorry, I don't have any vacancies. But there is a chance that I can get the new owner of this yard to hire you. You're not talking about that scrappy scavenger bot, are you? No, I'm talking about an investor from the homeworlds who just arrived. But the way I read him, he'll only consider you if there are no alternatives. We are the only alternative out here. 
At least the only one with an organic brain. Give me some space so I can figure this out. Thanks. It's all we're asking for. Okay, everyone. Let's scram. We shouldn't be this out in the open. Are you seriously considering sabotaging the drill for these criminals? To be honest, I could relate more to these Bloodstar exiles than to that opportunistic Davila guy. What if both sides are not compatible? If the Bloodstars were willing to get along with the guy who shot up their bases, I'm confident that they can get along with anyone. Go. No luck there. The units are both busted. But I met a bunch of potential workers who would be willing to operate this place manually. Workers? You mean like in the flesh? I don't know. Getting a new customized AI is still a lot cheaper than hiring a complete workforce. Apart from wages, I'd have to pay for living quarters, a protein farm, maybe some entertainment and sports facilities to keep them and their families happy. All of that could be a business opportunity of its own. Hey, you know what? You're right. This is ingenious. I'll create an entire economy based on all these people living here. I need to head out and start negotiations with them ASAP. So you still want to invest in this dump? Of course. At college, I was always the top of my class. Recapitalizing this operation will take maybe two or three soul years. Once this place turns profitable, I'll be off looking for my next project. So I won't be here for long. <laughs> if you say so.
on this server is beyond retrievable. Yeah, this thing's trashed. event from Cephas Downs? Ha! Huh. If I hadn't been married to that bastard, I'd still know that name as belonging to the worst winemaker in the galaxy. He made it common knowledge that grapes grown on Cephas result in nothing more than glorified laxative. How is that fool doing? Uh, I'm afraid he's dead. What? What happened? I don't know exactly, but it seems he got lost in the caves underneath Cephas Downs. His ship had these bottles stored and this message for you. Oh, that bloody fool. He ran off because he wanted to teach the universe the joys of a heavily touched palate, but ended up dying for a shipload of sweetened vinegar. Here, I'll buy the whole load from you. That's a lot of credits. Well, lucky you. Now use it to buy something or leave. I need to pour myself a drink.
one of the server locations. Hive, can you run a scan to see if this is the one we're looking for? The drives are completely scrambled. This cannot be the one. Uh, best keep looking then.
memory has been wiped. Yeah, by the Archive Admin. When was that? The timestamp is unreadable. Let's see what the other servers have in store. Call to female voice. If you insist, although the method of delivery does not alter the message. It might be a little more pleasant. Let's just give it a try. Of course. My default voice was not intended as overtly masculine to begin with. Yeah, I get your point. Well, let's just stick to default for now. As you wish. some curious file details on a previous transfer to a new location. I'll keep looking for more servers. There are no more server locations, at least none highlighted by the trader. Huh. Wasn't there anything you could glean from those other drives? There were some remaining files of historical interest dating to the time of the Okar incursion of Palemon. 
I came across numerous entries authored by the Archive Admin, some written decades apart. Could it be the same person? The author states that they arrived in Palemon as a mere minor, but wishes they had stayed on Eculus base, where they felt more at home. I do have a record of a mining station in the vicinity of Eculus. Here are its coordinates. Well, it's a long shot, but maybe that's where they transferred the data bank. Let's check it out. appears to be abandoned. All the better, I suppose.
everything here. Trader was right, and the data he's looking for still exists. This place is our last chance of finding it. All right, Hive, hold tight. I'm heading in. Who are you? How did you find this place? Don't move. I've got my crosshairs trained right on you. Why does everyone have to be so jumpy nowadays? Come now, relax. There's enough calamity at play as it is. Are you referring to the disintegration of the Bloodstar Gang or the general state of the DMZ? The former, obviously. Damned Bolton. It was bad for a while already, but it got worse once he took over. Bolton? People called him Gas Mask. Not that anyone would call him that to his face, of course. He was disfigured, bitter. Oh, yeah. Gas Mask. Doesn't quite earn my sympathy. What would you know about any of this? You've encountered him? I don't want to get into it. I'm just looking for a particular data bank. I'm working on the assumption that someone brought it here ages ago. Whoever archive admin was. Yes, that was me. I suppose GNB hired you in order to ascertain the remaining resource value of the region. We mined on Polemon during the war. We knew the risks, but then GNB failed to extract us from the encroaching battlefront. When the dust settled, the only ones left were the few of us who hid deep in the shafts. The databank you're looking for is more than simply log records and resource locations. For GNB, it's a historical stain on their reputation that needs to be erased unless they're ever taken to account. For us, it's where we came from. It's who we are. Or what's left of you. Bloodstar's finished. You seem pleased enough about it. You know, we weren't always on the wrong side of affairs. I was the gang historian, but my job was more than keeping files. It was onboarding new recruits to our code, was keeping the continuity. Now, there are none left to carry the flame. Some are joining new gangs and leaving their old allegiances behind. Some are trying to flee the DMZ altogether. All that remains are the stories. Take the data bank. I'm not equipped to resist you in any case. But keep in mind, the drives are antiquated and cumbersome, and compatible with newer technology. The whole data bank needs to be physically removed from the back of the station. I only want to live out the rest of my time here in peace. That is quite a heavy tale. Thanks for sharing it. Just get out of here. I've done all I can. My life's work is over. Hey, uh, take care out there. Whatever. Section Hive. Bloodstar code updated 07033045. Care, camaraderie, coexistence. The Bloodstar Oath is amended to include squadmate responsibility for widowed and orphaned members. Okay, that's interesting. So they did have some form of social code. Pull me up another. 1712-3048. A crew of 15 found malnourished after being forced from Union. Two weeks rest and recuperation offered. A number already expressing interest in joining our ranks. Well, they can't have been all that bad if they were rescuing starving crews. I wonder where it all went wrong for these guys. Let's try another. 3011-3055. Man-at-Arms Bolton again challenges the chief for leadership. 
the council intervenes to remind Bolton of the electoral process which has existed since the gang's founding. Bolton is reprimanded, but remains defiant. Hmm. Sounds like a slide into a dictatorship. I reckon we did Bloodstar a favor by ridding them of Gas Mask, even though it meant their undoing. Hive, I need to reconsider this. I mean, what's GMB gonna do with all this but mine it for resource data and erase the rest? We have a choice here. Return the data to the old-timer and let him finish his life's work, or cash it in for a healthy profit.
fired a mainframe component. I've had a change of heart. I think you should keep the data bank. Let's just say I might have learned a new appreciation for history. Tell me something. I've been wondering. Are you him? What do you mean? Come on, there aren't many fighters out here who could have picked a fight with Bloodstar. So are you the guy? Is this for the record? On the final page. Yeah, I'm the guy along with Dexter Bashar who killed Bolton. Gas mask. We were taken hostage and tortured. Dexter Bashar. Be sure you get that name right. Nasty business. I was never keen on the hostage taking. Bolton was the reason it all went to hell. Maybe one day you'll be able to rebuild Bloodstar how it used to be. No, no, it's just a story now. You've shown heart by helping to preserve it. Thank you. and stats should see a big boost with this new ship. Do not neglect to factor your abilities to handle it.
Uh, apart from your voice, is it possible to change aspects of your personality? Yes, that is possible. Is there any way to make you a bit friendlier, a little less cynical? Gee, Captain, you betcha. That's such a swell suggestion. A jolly hive makes for a happier ride. Oh, my sweet, scrappy, hell no. Stop that, please revert to default. I knew you would see reason.
is the base I gotta bring down.
take care of that base. signature. Thank you.
get these outlaws off our backs! Attackers. Thanks a lot. Hello? This is Nefty Station? You're speaking to Nefty Station? Job's complete. Good. I want my payment. Signature's fine. Here you go. Settled. Okay, good.
This is the base that you have been tasked with neutralizing.
I think I've come to terms with you just the way you are. Well, that is reassuring. That is, if you're okay with me the way I am. So far as allegiance, you should not doubt. I am here merely to serve you and ensure the best possible outcomes for your continued survival. I cannot be programmed any other way. Okay, but that still doesn't say anything about how you feel about me personally. I work with what I am given. Neftis Station. This is Neftis Station. Now finish the job. Affirming your signature. Thank you.
This is where the outlaw gang is supposed to be hiding. The man from the Port Authority mentioned some caves. Let's go and find them. send you. Yep, I'm here to clean this place out. You are welcome to try. Found one. the same job once. Unfortunately, money doesn't buy you respect. At least not the pathetic sums they used to give us.
are working for people who have nothing but contempt for you. And you're just plain thugs. Well then, let's end this. of the Byron Podhorn. I got report that you cleaned out the caves. Look, it's not easy to smell nice if you're fighting for your life all day. You know I'm just messing with you. If you can't take it, you don't have to work for us. Don't worry, I probably won't. Thanks for the creds, and good riddance. it is. You're dealing with me from now on. Hi, Daryl. So, now I get to know where Maddox is for real, right? Yeah, he leases the biggest hangar in Avonrest, a settlement here in Union. But so far as what kind of reception you're gonna get when you arrive there, we hold no responsibility. Maddox has good reason to be a deeply paranoid individual. Who else has been looking for him? Hard to say. It's just murmurs on the wavelengths. Okay, see you around. Oh, hey, before you leave, in case you're interested in doing us more favors and earning some credits, talk to Marianne over here. Sure, as long as she doesn't have anything else up her sleeves. I do not understand. Oh, wait. You are referring to your first visit. An unfortunate incident. I extend my apologies. It's quite all right, Marianne. It was out of your control. So what can you offer me? Please let me inform you about the station's job board. I have the clearance to inform you that there are jobs of special interest if you succeed in doing some of these. I'll have a look. 